Greg Tavone here, gregtavone.com. Here we go. Glad that you've been joining me for these lessons. We've been uh, learning the first string E string and the second string B string. Now we're going to combine the E string and the B string. Uh, again, the key piece here is that we're focusing on reading music. Uh, so I want you to go slow with these techniques. You can learn the notes really quickly, B, C, D, E, F, G. But I want you to be able to read the music on the treble clef and identify so you can name the notes and when you play the notes later on you'll be able to say, hey, third finger's on the second string, that's a D, this is a G, C, F, B, and E. So as you go along, I want to make sure that you can do that. Okay, let's jump right in. First line, we'll play four um, beats to every whole note and we're picking down for all the notes. So let's start from the beginning. Here we go, on the first string, one, two, three, four. E, two, three, first finger F. Two, three, third finger G. Two, three, four, second finger B. Two, three, four, first finger C. Two, three, and third finger D. Two, three, four. So, once again, I want you to be really picky with your playing. Make sure your thumb's not way over the top here. It should be somewhere comfortably behind. Uh, finger tips when you're playing the notes. Make sure there's no buzzing. If any notes like that, um, make sure you're getting nice clear notes, no vibrations. Sometimes if you let go too early, you can, you can get some buzzing happening. Um, and this gets back to make sure your guitar is set up properly. This may be another thing you want to take a look at. Trying different uh, strings. I play around with the the strings, if I get lighter strings or custom light strings or um, medium strings or whatever, I find the medium strings sound great, especially on acoustic guitar, but again, the, the challenges sometimes are harder for uh, people to play guitar on uh, to, to fret the notes. It does get a little bit um, painful for some people after you're pressing really hard um, with those notes, but you get some good tones. So you want to balance the string uh, length and make sure your guitar is set up too so it's proper so that you're not getting basic fret buzz and the strings are not too, the action is not too high off the frets um, so that you're playing that. So let's get into the second string here and we're going to do half notes um, on the first two strings. One, two, three, four. E, E, first finger F. Second string B, first finger C, third finger D. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, bar 13, we're going to play them as quarter notes, and it's almost like a scale, and we'll explain what a scale is later. Uh, but we're starting to move towards that uh, scale as a repetition of, of notes together. Um, and here we go, bar 13. One, two, three, four. So, this is again um, a, a, um, sort of a, a spot in your practicing where you can just uh, stop reading the music for a second and just play. And so practicing that piece kind of gets your uh, muscle memory and your fingers and your picking together uh, and you can always uh, stop in between lines and do some of your own made up uh, practice pieces to get your fingers moving. Uh, so let's go to bar 16 and bar 16 is basically what I just played now. We're going to do eighth notes, down up picking, alternate picking and uh, we're going to start with the second string open on B. One, two, three, four. C. Third finger D. Open first string E. First finger F. And third finger G. So it should be ending on an upbeat there. Okay, so practice that over and over again, nice and smooth. Bar 22. What we're going to do now is mix them up and we're just going to use half notes. So you have a little bit of time to think as we go through. Let's try bar 22 on one, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. Open E, two, B, first finger F, C, third finger G, D, Okay, great. Uh, moving on, we're gonna mix them up a little bit here. Bar 30, some quarter notes and some half notes. Again, taking it easy, uh, letting you practice reading the notes and, and coordinating them with your fingers. Bar 30, one, two, three, four. Open E, F, G, F, open E. Third finger D, first finger C. G, open E, first finger F, third finger D, and then open B, fabulous, fabulous, bar 37, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that uh, fourth measure there, that would be bar 40. It goes E, D, E, F, D, down, up, down, up, down. So picking up on a different string is another technique that can be tricky. Down, up. Practice that over and over a little bit and then put it together. Okay, let's start from the top. First string E, second string B, going from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. B and E strings, you are one third of the way of learning the notes in open position on the guitar. So we have the top two strings we've just done. Uh, ne next video we'll focus on the G string and uh, we will put things together going step by step. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, I think it's really important that guitar players learn to read music. I am 100% advocate for reading music, learning music, taking your time, complementing this with uh, learning other songs. Maybe you'll do a lot of th songs by ear. I think it's great. Um, we have to develop our ear, but general musicianship takes place and it has several parts. It's got 
the listening piece and learning by ear. It's got the practical, technical piece uh, on the guitar, and it also has the note reading uh, piece, which is very, very important. It helps make sense of the music. And again, complementing a lot of the things that we're talking about is some theory. If you want to learn more about theory, I'll try and get into a little bit of that. But I find at the very beginning, keeping the theory light um, and just getting to play the instrument is the most important piece. Thank you very much, GregTabone.com. Keep practicing. You can do it.